session now we are going to uh, show you on how to run foreign currency valuation uh, posting how to do the foreign currency valuation posting so this is my uh, and I am running for the customers and vendors open items so now when I run the test run and I don't see there is any errors uh, here a log um, indicated and here and in and attributes for open item okay so go back now if you click on the posting so I see all the postings are fine then uh, I go back so you see here I can create a batch input session if there is errors and I create for entire postings as a batch input session. So both options are available. Then uh, in this case, 30th 09 2020, and my posting date is 30th 09 2020. And here the reversal date is 01 10 2020. So I am going to run, click on execute. Postings. So these are the postings. And go back, check the messages. And create batch input. Then I click on create and uh, I have yes. So vendors and customers, customers and vendors. So click on execute. I enter the batch input. So now the system is uh, going to create an uh, update uh, directly in the system. So if, if, if I don't check this box, maybe the system is going to create directly the batch input session where you need to process manually in the system via SM35. Yeah. So when I go slash n SM35. So where the system will update here. So now yeah it's good. We actually got errors. So let's see what are the errors. And uh, no item category. So and uh, the general ledger thin amount set okay so what happened in our case uh, the system uh, it says there is no item category so how to fix this kind of errors and the posting general ledger amount set as a batch input okay so item category usually um, So the four got errors, so all these gone to the batch input because the errors. So let's see, is there any other postings is done? And uh, click on the postings, display documents. Okay, so now I go, let me sh see what are the documents. Created. And um, I just entry date is my today date 31st 03 2021. Sorry, 31st 03 2021. And click on execute. So these are the invoices which we created today. So in the in the case of a posting, uh, the system is not updated any posting. So we need to correct uh, um, item category for the document posting. So go to the financial accounting and global settings document. And uh, uh, here, sorry, ledger, no, document, uh, or maybe it's on the general ledger. Sorry about that. 
master data gl accounts refresh and oops okay think yeah so document splitting sorry it's quite last uh, okay so here where we need to maintain classify accounts for the item category so the the the, the it, it shows here the error so item category is no item category for 161099 so let's see is there here 161099 yeah it's true so this 161099 is actually is a GL account. Let's say 14. Yeah, so we follow the same account, this one, which is 16. So click save because I maintain already the item category so you can maintain click save yeah so go back and try to do again let's see you see what happened because I corrected the errors and everything and system says the valuation is already done yeah you cannot do valuation again and again because it's already in the batch input session so I would recommend always correct all the batch input session uh, issues so now we'll go to our batch input session SM35 sorry it's uh, slash and SM35 so now we have created this is the batch input so now I click on process in the foreground and this is my valuation posting So click on save one six one zero nine nine, which is a no item category we already maintain. So let's say slash n. Let's keep this record again the same. Let's keep this as well. Okay, everything is updating uh, into the what you call uh, 161099, but we already updated. I'm not sure why it's not reflecting, but this is where we will post. Let me go to the error detail directly from here. So we already maintain the GL account. Now classify GL accounts. Yeah, actually I maintained wrongly. Instead of 161, I maintained 16. Yeah, so this is how sometimes uh, we do. So one. and one click save okay just ignore this uh, warning message yeah yes yes okay so now click okay let's see whether the system is posting you see now the system is posting so now two documents posted two still got error so I process reprocessing again click okay Perfect. So what happened? All my valuation documents are posted now. Okay. So what will happen? So now when we do valuation again, let me show you something and we will come back. Uh, first in twenty twenty. I have is it good? 
so the system we posted uh, okay so since it's a always valued it is not showing the old difference yeah so I will come to I will revisit to this again um, in, in the in the always valued or a lowest value principle So now uh, let's look into the document which is posted. So when you go to the FB03 directly, after you execute uh, SM35, it will show the last document. Yeah. So click OK. So you can see here what happened here. The amount in uh, document currency is zero. And local currency and uh, local currency two, it's showing the value. So this is the valuation gain or loss is posted by the system so this is how and you can check in the header data is it a valuation posting or a valuation reversal and what is the t code the system is used yeah so this is the how the valuation posting you can check in the system okay so here and we are done with how the postings is uh, doing and uh, let's see how the revaluation gain or loss will be calculated by the system in our next session. Thank you.